elegant. Intent. Patient. Spindly, grim, bright tight coat of brilliant feathers, glorious. Unforgettable. There are great blues everywhere. But whenever I see one, no matter where I am, Texas, Indiana, Pennsylvania, it doesn't matter. I see that bird and I feel connected to home. It, uh, it just warms my heart to be around them. I like the great blue heron because if the, uh, if the blue heron is around, that means the ecosystem is really healthy. So, uh, so it's great to see them around Portland. The characteristics. Uh, patience, patience, tenacity. I don't know how often they catch something, but <laughs> I've rarely seen it. I think in, in my life I've seen, I've seen a great blue come up with something in its bill once. I love the great blue heron because it's majestic. It's just really elegant. I like seeing them, like I've seen them fly around. It's always great to see nature, just it's beautiful. I, I think there's a connection between great blue herons and, and prehistoric animals. One morning I saw this great bird swoop down and fly low in the canyon and it caught my eye and I'd never seen anything like it. I thought it looked like a dinosaur. It looked like something out of a prehistoric land. Seeing Great Blue Heron in the city, it's a wonderful surprise. It is the city bird of Portland. It was Portland Mayor Bud Clark who took the great blue heron under his wing to be the city's bird. He said, if we pay attention to this extraordinary ubiquitous creature, perhaps we will begin to attend to and care for all the extraordinary creatures we take for granted.
in 1986, Mayor Bud Clark had given a talk in downtown Portland and he mentioned Great Blue Herons numerous times during his presentation. I said, Bud, um, you mentioned Great Blue Herons a number of times. I think we need a, a city bird. I said, well, I, and I think the city bird should be the Great Blue Heron. And he said in his inimitable way, whoop whoop. And two weeks later, we had a proclamation um, establishing the Great Blue Heron as Portland's official city bird. There are Great Blue Heron Weeks here. There are people who dress like herons. There are films and plays and books about herons. People buy fake herons and mount them in their yards. Every year since 1986, we have Great Blue Heron Week. And every year since 1986, the, whoever happens to be mayor at the time reads a proclamation that we get together with city staff to write up that describes what the city is going to do, what the city has done and will be doing um, to protect habitat, to do, take the measures necessary to make sure that Great Blue Herons are with us in another 25, 50, or 100 years. Oregon's Poet Laureate wrote a famous poem about the Great Blue Heron. The thin, undulating figure, wrote William Stafford, where your vision joins the sunlight and the rain, heads in the light, feet that go down in the mud where the truth is. You can stare at them for hours, and then suddenly, they unfold from their long blue leanness and open wings bigger than any angel, and they lurch aloft, big as dreams. In flight, they flap along slowly, assuredly, yawningly, in no hurry, harried only by the occasional falcon. No one hunts them. No one sees them as floating meat. No creature of the air is afraid of them, although they sow and reap terror on land and water. And send the fish and frogs and toads and mice and snakes to scurry and flee. You stand by the river and watch for minute after minute, and you think the bird is asleep. And he or she sure looks to be asleep. And then, wham! The beak stabbing down faster than the eye can see. And up it comes, dripping with a wriggling, about to be former fish. Astounding speed. You would not imagine that a large, sleepy, skinny bird would be able to slam that dagger of a beak down to snare something so quick and wigglish as a fish. But you would sure be wrong about that.
the sheer size of the creature, taller than a toddler, and wider in wing than you are. Why the great blue heron? Why not a beautiful wood duck or some other very colorful species of bird? Herons are huge. People um, notice herons all the time. A lot of these smaller birds that are, that are flying around, people don't really notice. And I wanted something that really stood out um, and everybody loves the great blue heron. The blue heron is a big bird that I like seeing around down on the lake there, and it flies around. Oh my, what a, what a bird. You see a heron floating overhead, and you cannot help standing and staring at such an amazing sight. And if you are wise, you always shuffle away a little odd that there are such astounding beings in the world at all, let alone all through such a populous city. But there are. There are. And are we not blessed by such things? You will see a great blue heron today if you look carefully, if you are patient, if you walk away from cars and toward our wealth of water. And when you do see one, be amazed, be refreshed, be grateful that you share this wild world, this bruised blessing of a planet, this delicious and complicated life. We are here for a long, sweet moment before we unfurl and open our wings and soar away. <laughs>